Jose, music and film fans. What is good? How's everyone doing? I'm your host, Anika Chung. Since Halloween month is just around the corner, let's check out a short film from 1993 film, Matinee, directed by Joe Dante, starring John Goodman and Army Katz. Film fact! Yeah, I know, bro. <laughs> Did you know the movie within the movie, director Joe Dante cast actors who appeared in the 1950s science fiction films. The actors included Kevin McCarthy, Robert Cornwaith, and William Shallert. Now you know. And we all know that Army Cast was in Hocus Pocus as Max, but before he got casted for the role, they wanted Leonardo DiCaprio, and they offered him mad money, but he declined. Honestly, I would not change a thing. Omri was amazing as Max. The only thing I would have loved to see was a ritual cast return to the sequel with a brand new story with a Sleepy Hollow Salem crossover directed by Tim Burton. That's just my two cents, y'all. Seriously, man, y'all need Tim Burton for Hocus Pocus 2. That is my opinion. Seriously, hire this man. <laughs> Don't y'all agree? <laughs> this story takes place in October of 1962 during the Cuban Missile Crisis and the immense of the nuclear war looms over the American South. Low budget filmmaker, Lawrence Wolseley in the Key West, Florida, debuting his new film, Manned. And thanks prevailing a mood of fear surrounding the premiere is a perfect timing to stir up some excitement. So y'all, let's check out Lawrence Wolseley's film, Manned. Roll the clip, roll, roll, and action! Wolseley, International Pictures. I had to say that. is an anxious one but then you're about to see for yourselves what i mean my terrifying new process atomovision puts you the audience at ground zero not a safe place to be <laughs> but today there is no safe place to be <laughs> X-rays, Carol. A form of radiation. An ant must have bitten Bill when he was having his teeth x-rayed. I've been meaning to have the office fumigated, but I've just been too darn busy. Anyway, the ant's saliva must have gotten into Bill's bloodstream and gone straight to his brain, just as the radiation, which is measured in units called Rentgens, was released. And that's how he became a... Man. <laughs> oh, damn! <laughs> that face. <laughs> I'm Poor guy. Carol, once a radioactive event has taken place, so it'll always be this thing. Don't say that, darling. You're still Bill. Still my Bill. Of course he is. It's what's inside a person that counts. Yeah, Doc. But you know what's inside me? Formic acid. When you have formic acid instead of blood, you feel like a volcano or a bomb. You want to pick something up that's twice your size. Run up and down the hill with it all day long, like all the other little... Bill, stop. <laughs> oh, come on, Carol. Let's not kid ourselves. I'll never be just plain Bill again. Tell the truth, honey. If I looked like this when we first met... I would have been afraid, Bill. I would have been very afraid. But we can't be afraid now. That's the stuff, Carol. By the way, I uh, did get your x-rays back, Bill. I don't suppose it makes much difference to you now, but you didn't have a single cavity. Well, <laughs> come in. Welcome, Doctor. Oh, who's this guy? I took the liberty of inviting Dr. Flonkin here. He's with the Office of Unforeseen Atomic Events in Washington. Young man, I'm afraid you've suffered some of the worst of what our mighty little friend, the Atom, has to offer. Can power a city or level it. But how can it cause this? Young lady, human insect mutation is far from an exact science, but there are some things we do know. You will continue to metamorphose or change, taking on more ant like characteristics, and you'll grow. Damn! Become bigger. I'm sorry, Bill. I really am sorry. Sorry? 
You think this is some kind of picnic for me? <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear what I just said? Picnic! Pick? Ants? Picnic? <laughs> so what am I alone here? <laughs> That's funny! Isn't it funny? <laughs> He's losing his mind. <laughs> Poor Bill. Crumbs. How long can I exist on crumbs? I'm hungry. Bill, please, the doctor said not to get excited. Yeah, I know what the doctor said. You always hungry. <laughs> I'll show you. Go, my brothers and sisters. Oh, my Go. gosh. Go free. Free. No, <laughs> Behold, the great emancipator. And now, to go downtown. No, Phil, you mustn't. I'll call Dr. Crabbell. Get away from the telephone, Carol. Don't make me you. <laughs> Is he joking or not? What the? send him to a funny farm or an ant farm <laughs> you'd be so cruel and how could you not love me now that i'm the only real man in your life <laughs> oh damn high voltage <laughs> my god you've exposed him to electricity you must be mad but the authority said electricity plus atomic energy the worst possible combination. Now he'll grow as an accelerated. Or speed it up, Rick. <laughs> He's gone stronger. <laughs> Oppenheimer can stop him. <laughs> Quickly, it's headed for that movie theater. It, but don't you understand? He's not a monster. He's a shoe salesman. Would you let that fit you in a pump? <laughs> Hey, 
Hey, gotta roll the punches. Oh shit! <laughs> it hates the music. He is pissed off. He wants his sugar. The ants got that junkie feel, man. <laughs> It's a hunt for the man. <laughs> This is the real world, Doc. 
not test tubes and atomic diagrams and periodic tables. And every time we have to take on the real world, there's always some egghead telling us, oh yes, I invented it, but I never wanted it used. While our enemies are having a field day, gobbling up countries like this, ants and gobble up sugar. But that's just it, don't you see? You take this shoe salesman and turn him into the enemy. That's what this atom bomb does. It takes all the shoe salesmen and dirt farmers and housewives all over the world and makes them all into somebody's enemy. When all they wanted was to go home to a little house and night and sleep in peace. Well, I suppose that's a thing of the past now, isn't it? Once we so cleverly let that atomic genie out of its bottle, there's no putting it back, gentlemen. Every country can get that bomb. Countries whose leaders are desperate, are crazy, are making holy war. It's a different world now from the one we knew only a few short years ago. Indeed. <laughs> but I don't understand. Why would you want to examine me now? When Bill is out there and the army is sending those missiles. Because your appointment is today, Carol. People will always find a reason to put it off. That's the kind of thing people like to do. Um, yes, but after everything that's happened, maybe you... Maybe I'm what? Unfit to work on people's precious little teeth? No, I... Why are you keeping your hand? Because it's not my hand, Carol! It's not a hand at Damn! all! Damn! What the... <laughs> He's infected! <laughs> that was hilarious. I enjoyed that. This film chart within the film was very creative. I really enjoyed it. Man, since this film was made in 1993, I love the fact they made homage to classic sci-fi films from the 1950s and 60s. The fact they got the detailing actually made you feel like you're watching a film from the 1950s about either Frankenstein, the werewolf, or the squid. Of course, Mant. Well, definitely creative. I really enjoyed it. And John Goodman was fantastic as Mr. Wolseley narrating the beginning of the film, giving us an introduction of what we're about to see and experience. And I like the fact that he was looking like so crazy at the same time. So John Goodman is always a fantastic actor. And I haven't seen this film, but I'm definitely going to check it out. Have you guys seen this film? What is your favorite scene? Let me know in the comments. I'm your host, Anika Chung, and I'll see you next time on my next music and film review. Love yourself always, and remember y'all, be excellent to each other. All right guys, I'll see you next time the pictures. That's all folks, and that is a wrap. Hello's evening.